Hey Mountain View, welcome back to Your Thunder News. We're your hosts, I'm Sage Torgerson. And I'm Nathaniel Anders. And today we have some great news for you. Seniors, the WAC the Scholarship is the Scholarship of the Week. Submit your application by January 12th. However, you must have been recommended by a CTE teacher. Also seniors, the grad party tickets are on sale now for $75, but the price will go up starting February 1st. Girl Scouts are collecting eyeglasses in the office. Be sure that if you have any extras, Turn them in before December 13th. Wait, where are my glasses? Also, the choir is putting on a winter choral concert on December 14th, starting at 7 o'clock. So please be there and support your cho choir. The District Honor Band and Orchestra concert is December 9th at 5 o'clock. Now, these people are coming from all around the district. So support all your schools by being there. Also, yearbooks are $50 with ASB and $55 without, but the price will go up in January, so make sure to get them ASAP. Wait, what are these? Oh, the basketball team is actually hosting a fundraiser. They are selling socks for $15 and pop sockets for $10. You can get them in the basketball office behind Subway, but it's only open before school during lunch and after school. So get them if you can. And now here's a little clip from Pledge for Your Future. Do you want to meet Tyler Lockett? Pledge for Your Future Wednesday during third period. I'm Tyler Lockett, NFL wide receiver. I think it's important for students to earn a high school diploma because it gives you an advantage out there in life to go out there and succeed. Obviously, there are steps in life that you have to take before you can go out there and be great at what it is that you do. And I think that the first step in that is getting a high school diploma. That's why Aquafina and I are challenging you to make a pledge to graduate. The school with the highest percentage of pledges will earn $5,000 and a visit from me. Sign up today at LockettPledge.com for your chance to win. Welcome to clubs. Hi guys, I'm Tiona Bentley. I'm Henry Wallen. Anime Club is going on still and it's in 313. We watch anime and have parties every once in a while. The parties are awesome and they're over 9,000. If you would like your club featured for next week, use the email address here. What'd you guys get? It's like a pink. I'm probably just gonna stick it in my backpack. Just yeah, what is that? Ooh. Got it from the library. Got it from the library. You just go stop by and you gotta get your parents to sign two forms, then you're good. Are you guys are you gonna like go home and do homework? Oh, I'm gonna do so much homework. Oh, so all the homework. Yeah. I'm just gonna finish it all. Get the Acer Chromebook. If you could describe yourself as any car, what kind of car would it be? A Mustang. Why is that? Because they go vroom vroom. If you could describe yourself as any car, what kind of car would it be, Perry? A Nissan 240SX with a Sylvia front end. If you could describe yourself as any car, what kind of car would it be? Nissan 350Z. If you could describe yourself as any car, what kind of car would it be? Um, yellow. <laughs> Thunder Sports. Welcome back to Thunder Sports. I'm your host, I'm Hillary. And I'm Abby Ho. This week on Thunder Sports, we got boys basketball at Columbia River, 7 o'clock. Be there. We have a girls basketball game, also at Columbia River, 5.30. We got girls bowling against our rivals union at 3.15, December 5th. And on December 5th also, we got a wrestling meet, JV at 5. Varsity at seven. This is this it! Thunder Sports!
Okay, Miss Nemo, what is your one word? Persistence. Don't give up. Define humble. Humble is uh, doing what you should do. Yes. To not take advantage of your friends when you know the answer of a question, for instance. Rather, rather be quiet and allow other people to be answering the question or doing whatever needs to be done. Yes. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Mountain View, and I finally found my glasses. Uh, so, until next time. Whose house? Our, Our house. house.